those qualitative terms, concentrated and dilute, are useful for some things, but other times we actually need numbers. We need quantitative measures of how much solute is in this solution. And one of the, the um, measures of solution composition is mass percent. And this falls into the same pattern as other percentages. The percent equals the part divided by the whole times 100. In a mass percent, the part is the mass of the solute. That's the smaller amount one. And the whole thing is the mass of the solution. Multiply that by 100% to get a percentage. This is not going to have units of grams or liters or anything like that. It's just going to have a unit of percent. Now, sometimes they get a little tricky with the questions, so I'm also showing you this equation, which is really the same thing. The mass percent is equal to the grams of solute divided by the grams of solute plus the grams of solvent. Because what's in the solution? There's two parts, the solute and the solvent. So sometimes they'll give you the mass of the solution, other times they'll give you the mass of each part and you need to remember to add them together. I promise you there will be a question on the exam where you're given the mass of the solute and the mass of the solvent and you have to add them together in the denominator to get the right answer. So you've been warned. Let's do an example. What is the percent by mass concentration of glucose in a solution made by dissolving 5.5 grams of glucose in 78.2 grams of water. So we want percent by mass. So percent mass, actually it's usually called mass percent. The mass percent, what's our, what's our solute in this solution? 5.5 grams of glucose. So the mass percent of glucose is going to be the grams of glucose divided by the grams of solution. The whole thing times 100. Did they tell us what the mass of the solution is? No, they told us the mass of each part. So this is the kind of problem I was warning you about. So let's just be clear here. Our solute is glucose. What's the solvent? Water. So grams of solution is going to equal the mass of the glucose, the solvent, plus the mass of the solution. So it's going to be the glucose, which is 5.5 grams, plus the mass of the water. Because what they're saying is you took 78.2 grams of water in a container and you add 5.5 grams of glucose to it. So what's the mass of the whole thing? You just add the masses together. So that's what going to be, 83.7 grams. So now we're prepared to, to put this into the equation. The grams of glucose was 5.5 grams and the grams of the whole solution was 83.7 grams and then we're going to be multiplying this by 100. So 5.5 divided by 83.7 equals times 100. So this equals 6.6 percent. <coughs> Any questions?